Shame on you guys. Shame on you. I would have turned for her. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with your no frills, the voice commentary from a singer. Yes sirree, we got the last night of the blind auditions and we can finally get into the battle rounds, but let me tell you what happened tonight before we move on to tomorrow night, all right? The blind auditions continue. Do you already have a favorite to win? Let me know down in the comments. The coaches will have teams of 12 to go into the battle rounds. Matt Szymanski was up first. He was 20 years old. He did Have a Little Faith in Me by John Hyde. And he auditioned before and had a bad song choice, you know, he did like the Katy Perry thing and I don't know what was going on. I remember them. As soon as they said Katy Perry, I was like, oh yeah, I remember him. This time he picked up his guitar and stayed closer to his roots. He's trying to do a little rock thing, you know. Adam turned first almost before he begun. And he has a nice voice with a lot of emotion and a very sweet quality to it. Blake turned next and he had a nice bit of falsetto going on too. And then CeeLo turned. Adam stood for him and this was 500% better than last time. It really was was song choice people, song choice, very important. CeeLo said he sounded great and did a great job. Blake said when he started playing around with the falsetto stuff it was like a cat playing with a, around with a mouse, you know, because he was just kind of just doing his thing and having fun. That was really, really nice. Adam said it's a great song and Matt chose Adam because he was the first to turn around. I was talking about butcher your name, Diego. Diego Roman Navarro was 20. He did Rebel Yell by Billy Idol and his dad is a famous Latin artist and he's a rocker in a band and had the audience and the just rocking along with him, you know. He had a major scream too, but I wasn't sure what to think of his voice personally. And I've heard all kind of voices and stuff, and I just, I was just, I just wasn't sure of it. I just really wasn't. None of the coaches turned for him. Adam said he only had one slot left, so he's being really picky. CeeLo said the same thing, though he has three slots left, so he's being really, 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 really picky. Christina said the energy was coming through the speakers and said CeeLo should have pushed. Yeah, push it off on CeeLo, right? Tomorrow, Shanice was next. She did one plus one by Beyonce. Oh, Lord, I wrote one plus one equals Beyonce. She sang the first phrase and Christina turned around, right? I was so enjoying her performance. Such a sweet sound, great tone, beautiful emotion. CeeLo turned around next. She had Christina rocking back and forth and holding herself, you know? She was like, you know she was enjoying it. <laughs> and that last run was like the icing on the case, baby. She just went, and I did say cakes. Adam said she had a beautiful voice. CeeLo said it was gorgeous and just enough, not too much of anything. Christina said she touched her heart. Tamara chose CeeLo because he's a beast and she loves everything about his music. If you're enjoying everything about this commentary, please make sure to thumb it up, thumb it up. Let me know that you're enjoying it. Also, let other people know that you're enjoying it. And let them know that you can come on over and chill out with us and relax and have a discussion. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Next up, we had Brandon Chase. 20 years old, he did Wanted by Hunter Hayes. And he graduated college at age 17, okay? He was really accelerated and moved to Nashville. He had a really nice, clean, and pure sound, and Blake turned as soon as he hit the chorus. CeeLo turned after he hit a big note, and then it was followed by a little tiny little falsetto thing, and I, that really impressed him, I think, so he turned around. It was kind of sweet. Blake said when he heard Brandon's voice, he heard the real deal. Brandon chose Blake. He said he was going with his heart, and Blake is the one he wanted to turn the most. Lupe Carroll was next, 26-year-old. He did If I Were a Carpenter by Tim Harden, Bobby D Darren, a lot of people were pulling out the guitars for auditions this season, right? I mean, you know, I was liking the sound of his voice also. Very pleasing and engaging. Even though I didn't know the song, I was still like really into what was going on. CeeLo turned around halfway through the performance and the others were listening intently, but no one else turned. And CeeLo said he sounded great. Adam said he had a very compelling voice. Blake said he hesitated and screwed up. Next we had Gray. She was 25. She did Catch My Breath by Kelly Clarkson. And she seemed a little tentative at first but warmed up quickly and started to walk the stage, you know, when she got into the like go ahead and walking from here and doing that, I knew she was just comfortable, right at home and everything. She's a Berkeley graduate, also a wedding singer. Yay! In the house, in the house, in the house. Adam turned for her first and Blake turned when she went into the higher part of the song. She was rocking and doing her thing after that and really pulled out a great long note to get a turn from CeeLo also. And then Blake's chair had a malfunction and it was fucking because they were turning all the chairs around and then they turned his back around the other way. And of course there was a great exchange afterwards. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Blake said he did 360 for her and told her he believed she had a voice that could go on and win the show. CeeLo told her that her voice was just enough of everything. Perfect. Christina said she got better as the song went along. And after a commercial break, Gray chose Adam. Dominic Scott K was next. He was 17. He did Easy by the Commodores. And he's a, his father is in the Commodores. He's the drummer for the Commodores. And he had a 
pretty good voice, but was just a little too nasal for me. He's been acting since he was four, so he's very comfortable on stage and relating to the audience. Blake was leaning in like he was going to push, but no coaches turned for him. Adam said he has something real cool and made a very mature choice, song choice. Blake said he sings up here a lot and said he needs to learn to move it down here and blend it in. And I wrote great ear and advice there, Blake. Because, yeah, this is what I heard. He was singing all up in what many call the mask or up in his face, all up here in the nasal passages. And it just is not always a pleasing sound. And for me, it says that, you know, you're not fully developed. You haven't really gotten to the place where you can, you can smooth out your voice and get things to work properly. So he's got some work to do, but he, he, he sounded pretty good. He just, he just has some work to do. Michael Lynch was up next. No, not the one from American Idol. This is a 27 year old white boy, but he did Balamos by Enrique Iglesias. And he had all the elements in the opening of his audition. You know, he had the nice little, he started out with the nice little tone and then he got bigger. He, he just did everything. He had the emotions going on and it was kind of acapella. And then bam, he got into the up-tempo. Christina turned around before he even started the up-tempo part. I like that he kind of started soft and then gave us the big note right there up front. Blake and CeeLo also chimed in. They had talked about so much. Oh, he's going to sing in Spanish. He's going to sing in Spanish. And he didn't sing a lot in Spanish. He just did the, the parts of the song that were already the little... I, I, I remember I can't sing on here. Okay, so I was just a little disappointed because I thought maybe he was going to do like a verse in Spanish or something like that. You know, well, that wasn't that much Spanish for them to be making up all this noise about. Okay, but whatever. Blake said his pitch is amazing and he has a cool vest. <laughs> CeeLo said he just knew he was going to be Latin. Christina said it was almost like an MJ kind of tone, Michael Jackson kind of tone that he had. And Michael chose Christina, and she got up to do some salsa dancing and sang a little bit with him. That was really cute. Very classy Christina. Deanna Johnson was next. She was 17. She did Stars by Grace Potter. And I loved her speaking voice, and her singing voice was a great extension to it. Sometimes it's just the sound of someone's voice that really takes them a long way, and she definitely has a great sound. But she didn't get any coaches to turn for her shame on you guys shame on you I would have turned for her just I just loved her voice this oh, was so pleasing to my ears Adam said it was interesting and different Christina said she was awestruck and her voice stands out but said she should take advantage of higher moments in the song really taking it higher CeeLo also said she had a distinctive and different voice Blake said she's only eight months away from being able to come back and win the show Please come back, Deanna. Please. Oh, my God. Just such a beautiful, pleasing tone. Brian Pounds is up next. He was 24. He did Wagon Wheel. And when he started, he seemed like he was gunning for Blake as his coach, right? You know? <laughs> Just by his song choice, the way he was dressed. Blake was actually singing along and finally chimed in for him. He's another who he brought his guitar with him, you know. I like the short a cappella section that he did. And then CeeLo turned around for him also. Blake said he had a great clear voice with great pitch. Christina said he had a good, strong, solid voice. And they had a funny exchange going on the whole time. They were talking about him fighting over him and stuff like that. Brian chose Blake and he said he was keeping it country. But I wrote CeeLo put up a really good fight. He had some really good points. It makes a really good voice. You gotta watch that exchange if you like like the, how they go back and forth and stuff and how they fight. Mark Wolf, Danielle Wash, and Ty Wiffles were all passed up by CeeLo but got some screen time and critiques. Congratulations. Sean Smith was up next. He was 32. He did Chicken Fat by Zach Brown. And he had a nice soothing voice when he started out and of course also had his guitar. When he picked up the tempo, I was bobbing my head along to the music and totally enjoying it. It was a laid back performance but he was really feeling the story his eyes were misty. He was really into it. CeeLo was asking the audience, you know, before he turned around, I was like, should I turn? Should I turn? And they were like, ah, yeah, yeah. Finally, he turned around, got his final person, finished his team, and everybody's teams are complete. So, tomorrow night, we will have the battle rounds. The, my favorite part of the competition is the battle rounds. The best moments for me have been in the battle rounds. Tell me what, what, what round is your favorite. Down in the comments, please. Please, down in the comments. Also, tomorrow night, we will be bringing the mentors in. Cher is going to be mentoring for Team Blake. Miguel is going to be mentoring for Team CeeLo. Ryan Tedder will be mentoring with Team Adam. And Ed Sheeran will be mentoring with Team Xtina. This is Robert Anton Robert 
RobertAnton.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end, make sure to put stuck around down in the comments for me. Also, make sure to share this video if you enjoyed it. You know, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever sites that you have. Let other people know that we are discussing over here. I'm trying to get to 100 likes this season, so please help me out. And also, watch my other videos down here. I got other stuff going on. So please watch and click down here for, you know. Okay, I can't even talk anymore. I'm so tired. I am out. Peace.